Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Inspirational Moments. I am Reverend Glendale Miller from the beautiful islands of the Bahamas. This program is designed to inspire, motivate, and encourage as you make a difference right where you are. I invite you in prayer. Our Father, our God, our King, Emmanuel, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor. We bow reverently in your presence this morning. Bless us, strengthen us, give us what is needed for the journey ahead. These favors and blessings we ask in your son's name. Amen. Good morning, everyone, and a warm welcome is extended to all of you as we approach the celebration of our Christ, his entrance into this world as we commemorate his birth. We give God thanks and praise for making the decision to come our way to provide salvation and to show us the love that we need. We honor him this morning and we give him all the praise that is due to his holy name. Our meditation is found in the second chapter of the Gospel according to Saint Matthew. And I read for your consideration verse number 12. And being warned of God in a dream, that they should not return to Herod. They departed into their own country another way. And being warned of God in a dream, that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. I want to share with us this morning, God being our helper, do you know where you're going? Do you know where you're going? For the past several days, I have been thinking about the wise men. I've been thinking about their journey from their homeland and the distance that it took for them to get to our Christ. And upon arrival, the Bible declares they worshipped him. I shared with a friend of mine the other day that I was giving serious consideration to this passage, this 12th verse. And I wanted to speak to us this morning from the idea, let's go another way. 
But as I meditated on that thought, the Holy Spirit has illuminated my thinking to take a look and ask this searching question, do you know where you're going? Think about it for a moment. Those words may be familiar to some of us as we think back to a song that was recorded by Diana Ross. The song was written by Michael Mesa and Jerry Coffin and was the theme song of the motion picture Mahogany. The words of the song ask a simple question. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Do you get what you're hoping for? When you look behind you, there's no open door. What are you hoping for? Do you know? Do we know where we are going this morning? Do we like the things that life is showing us? Are we getting what we were hoping for in this life? 2020 has been a challenging year. Are we getting all that we intended to receive? this year? All of those are great questions to ask ourselves. All of those are great questions that we need to find the answers for in our lives. The Bible tells us that the wise men were asking similar questions. They were searching for some answers. They had seen a special star in the sky. It was a star that pointed to the birth of a special king. It was a star that pointed to a special king that was to be born to the children of Israel. They had left the comfort of their country because of that star. It had given them purpose and direction. They had traveled for months across the deserts and wilderness to get to the land of Israel. They were determined to discover the identity of this special king that had been born. He was to be king that was to stand alongside the likes of King David, King Solomon, and King Josiah. He was to be the anointed one and they wanted to give him honor, worship, and glory. 
I am sure along the way they might have joined in that song, Do You Know Where You're Going To? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Have you ever wondered, have you ever wanted rather a star to show you where you should be going? Or how about having your own personal pillar of cloud or a pillar of fire to lead the way? Could you use an angelic visit or a dream or a vision? What about seeing a burning bush, some watering pots, or even a voice from a prophet? Uh, as you and I read the Bible, we notice that there are a many individuals that received some special revelations that enabled them to know what they were supposed to do and where they were supposed to go. What about you today? Is there a way for us to know what we need to do and where we need to go? Is there a Gideon's fleece for us? Is there a divine casting of lots for us as there was for the early church when it was trying to replace Judas? Is there a still small voice for us to hear like the prophet Elijah heard. There is a way for us to know where to go and what to do. Jesus tells us in the 16th chapter of John's Gospel and verse number 13, when the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he has, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. Let's take a few moments this morning and zero in on how we can discover God's will as we follow his ways. First of all, God wants to share his will and desire for our lives. Perhaps the first thing we need to fully understand is that God does not want us living in the dark. God is not interested in us spending our years here on his good earth being confused and frustrated and discouraged. God wants us to know his will and direction for our lives. God wants us to be led by his Holy Spirit. He wants us to make the right choice and make right choices for our lives. He wants us to live the best life possible. John 10, Jesus tells us that he is the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd that will speak to his sheep they will know and understand his voice. They will be able to follow his direction and his direction will enable them 
to live a life beyond amazing. Jesus tells us that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Life here on earth can be difficult, my family. Life can be full of frustration, anxiety, and misfortune. Life can bring about problems and situations that we may feel are impossible to handle. But at the same time, we must understand that the Lord wants us to live an abundant life. An abundant life that looks a lot like the life of a sheep that we read about in the 23rd Psalm. If you remember those sheep have their needs taken care of by their shepherd. Those sheep are being led to still waters. Those sheep are being led into right living. Those sheep are experiencing peace in the midst of difficulty. Those sheep are being anointed and cared for and provided for in the best of ways possible, even when they have to go through troubled times. They know that the shepherd is right there doing his best to guard them, protect them, and encourage them. That is to be our life, brothers and sisters, here on planet Earth as well. The more we can hear God, the closer we follow God, and the more we obey and listen to God, the better our lives will be here on God's good Earth. I like what I heard the other day that Dr. Rick Warren said on this subject. Life, he said, is a series of choices. We are forced to make choices in our lives, either good ones or bad ones. Life is a journey. It is a series of stops and starts. But we need to understand that as we do those stops and starts, that the Lord has given us some wonderful gifts. He has given us a road map called His Holy Word. He has given us a compass called our conscience. He has given us a GPS guide called the Holy Spirit. We need to fully understand that the Lord God Almighty does not want us to waste our lives. He does not want us to spend our time here on this earth foolishly and carelessly. He does want you and I to invest our lives. He does want us to live out the best life possible. But there is more here. God has made a way for us to hear his voice. The wise man had a star. Moses had the burning bush and the voice of God. Daniel had dreams and visions and angelic visitations. Today, we have the assurance of the presence of God's Holy Spirit. The Bible over and over again tells us that today we have access to the power presence and leadership of God's Holy Spirit. 
but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said to you. John 14 and 26. But in 1 Corinthians 2 and 10, these words are recorded, but God has revealed them to us through his Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. We must be willing to be led by His Holy Spirit. We must be willing to allow Him to guide us, to lead us. A willingness to surrender to the leadership of the Holy Spirit. A willingness to get into the Word of God. I leave you, my family, with this final thought for us to ponder. We need to zero in on the important the importance of God's rich word. As we ponder this question, do we really know where we are going? Most of the time we don't. Therefore we need God to lead us, to guide us along the way. For if you lead me, I know that I cannot stray. That's the challenge for us at this hour. They said travelers risk. Ask him to lead. Let me hear you say it. Ask him to Die lead you. Along the way. Along. Those wise men followed a star. For if you lead. They believed in what they were following. And it took them to where they needed to go. That's the challenge for us when when we allow God to lead us, He will take us, glory to God, to where we need to go. As we move closer into 2021, my prayer for you, my family, that you would ask Him to lead you along the way. Our Father and our God, we've come to the realization that if you are not leading us, we are destined to fail. We are destined to make mistakes. We need you to go out ahead of us. We need you to go before us. 
and set the pathway straight. I am weak. God, we are helpless without you. And therefore, we seek your guidance at this hour in decisions that we must make in bringing us closer to our destiny, gracious God, we ask that our footsteps, every deliberation, every discussion, God is led and guided by you. You preside over what we need to do as we move forward. We're trusting you now, oh God. And we believe that if you do it, gracious God, we will follow. You lead. You be our drum major. We will follow. Thank you, Lord. And we will give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. Each day will be. Oh, yes, Lord. That's my prayer. That's my determination as I make my way into 2021. God, you lead me. For if you lead me, for if you lead me, hallelujah, I cannot stray. Say, Lord, let well, me walk. Lord, let me walk. Hallelujah, each day with thee. Each day with thee. Lead me, Jesus. Lead me. Oh, Lord. Glory to God. Lead me. Some of y'all need some direction. You have lead to open your mouth and just ask lead him one me. more time. You be my just GPS. Like, ask him to lead me. Lead me. And guide me along the way. For if you lead, for if you lead, me I cannot stray. I say, Lord, let me walk. Lord, let me walk. Thank you for sharing with us on inspirational moments. If you leave, I can walk we'll come back if to you again tomorrow with another inspirational word from God. In the meantime, may the blessings of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost be yours now and always. Have yourselves a great morning. God bless you. Lord have mercy.